Hey guys and welcome back to Outward. And where are we? We are ah, oh, we're at this weird place, aren't we? Where's the map? So we're on this bandit camp. So we're on which bridge are we on? Shit. We're on this bridge. We want to be on this bridge. Um, we can't go through there because there's like loads of hyenas and shit. What the fuck did I just do to myself? Oh my god, I forgot there was a trap there for fuck sake! Just nice me. Just please, just nice me. Put me back in the- I am back in the village. Am I right? Yes, I am. Thank god they niced me. Um, they didn't take my money. Good. I took some of my shit, though. What the hell? <laughs> I think I'm really thirsty. Okay. They definitely took some of my stuff. Which is fucking annoying. I can't do anything about that. I need to get my HP back. That's what I need to do. Out of 78. Oof. I need to sleep. That's what I need to do. Crafting arrows. Ah. Linen cloth. Campfire is just wood. Leather, leather. Missing everything. Oh, I can make a primal club. <laughs> okay. I'm pretty sure we fucked it on getting our house back. So I don't think we can get our house back at all. Hey there. Uh, cause yeah, the only thing we can sell really is them at the moment. We're getting five gold. That's terrible. Uh, we need to go sleep and get our HP back. That's what we need to do. I literally lost all my stuff as well. That's so annoying. That's kind of like a... Um, like a vicious circle. Can I see... Uh, what my... Oops. Uh, five days. You have lost your lighthouse. Talk to Riz. Okay, so I've already... Five days are already gone. I don't quite understand how. I've died three times. Uh, and I arrived on the first day. Is this her? Wow. Now how did I lose my lighthouse then? Or are you saying that... I, I don't understand that. I mean, in all honesty, I don't give a fuck. Fuck that lighthouse. Fuck this whole village. Um, there she is. So she's there. How do we get to that? Up the hill this way. I need someone to sleep. I need to not get fucked over. That's what I need to do. Well, at least now I can actually stop, relax, play the game, and I'm not, like, under any time constraints or anything like that. Okay, so places you can enter have fancy doors like this. Okay, I get that. Very much does remind me of Two Worlds, like the first one. Maybe, I, don't, I haven't played the second one, but it reminds me of Two Worlds, the first one. 
Like every place you could enter had a stiff, slightly different door, so you knew you could enter it. Uh, the combat reminds me a lot of it. Um, everything does for some reason. Oh, my uh, light hasn't been on, so you guys can't really see me. There we go. Hello, how you doing? Now I'm a bit weird, bright, but oh well. I'm afraid to be bright than dark. I'm afraid that you came too late. The lighthouse has been sold. Well, I tried. That you did. Even though the payment was late, you've proven you can survive in Arai. Um, I'm just saying, the payment wasn't late. The payment didn't exist. I only got 75, so... Indeed. Either move at a rise pace, or you will be left behind. Okay. Oliel and Izan are leaving Cierzo. Really? Speak with them before they go. Oliel is leaving to go join the holy mission of Elat. Oh, really? Damn, I'll miss her around As here. As will we all. Uh, as were we all, I don't suppose you could convince her to stay. She's my only daughter set to inherit the clan when I join the ancestors. No, I don't suppose you'd be able to convince her. Um, her mind is made up. Uh, I'm just going to just quickly whack that down ever so slightly. Because I don't know if you guys, it's a bit loud for you guys or not. And Yazam, why is he leaving he can't be ready for another expedition yet. A blood price has been declared upon his bloodline. What do you mean? Listen, Fire Mike, this shipwreck killed so many of our people and nearly took our life, uh, took your life. Uh, the fault is Yaza's brother, Roland. A blood price has been declared upon his bloodline. What? Roland fell asleep on duty. Oh my god. He was on duty that night, uh, not the shipwreck. He fell asleep on duty, letting the lights go out. He confessed as much to me himself. Why would he confess? This is unacceptable. This is un uh, Ronan's unacceptable. The consequences of his actions, Yarrett's. Uh, consequence Yarrett refuses. He has chosen to exile himself from Cirizo forever rather than do his duty of a tribe and bear. The blood price. Damn. This is the way things have to be. Uh, I said, damn, losing two friends in a day, that's not good. I know this can be easy for you, Farm Monk, but this is the way it has to be. Come back once you've said your goodbyes to them. Come back once you guys. Once you're done, we should discuss your future here in Cerezo now that you can handle yourself in the outside world. Fuck off. Cunt. Yo, cunt. Yo, stack up. Yeah, I shouldn't, I shouldn't be swearing so much. Down here then. I don't know what's down there. Is this like the town hall? Nice swordfish. Oh, 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 chest, chest. Oh, oh, wait there. Crouch. Ha ha! I don't know if I'm hidden or not. She does the bill. Fucked me last time when I was at the bandy camp. How do I know if I'm hidden? Because nobody can, I know, I know definitely nobody can see me. What does that red one mean? Am I over encumbered? I am. Where is my pack? That's where all my stuff is. I bet it was. On, I bet it's left on that trail out in the woods. Fire rag. Hmm. Uh, 
Dark Rich Attire. Resistance 3, Resistance 3. Hot Weather Defense. Nice. And that's Cold Weather. Huh. <coughs> Sorry. If you see me sneezing and a bit sniffy a bit today, it's because I have really bad hay fever at the moment. I've taken antihistamines for it, but it's literally doing nothing at the moment. I get it every year at the start of the uh, season when all the flowers are in bloom and all that stuff. It's really, really annoying. But yeah, sorry about that. I'll get over it in a few days. About weeks, probably. But hopefully, antihistamines will kick in in a few days. And it'll be okay. Here's hoping. <laughs> Pitchfork. What can I do with that? Nothing, but I can sell it. Apparently, I'm thirsty again. I am dehydrating very quick. <coughs> I must be um hot. Just do that. Hey there. Oh, sorry. I'm really, really having problems at the moment. Huh? Over back over to a hundred. <coughs> Flipping hell! I am having problems. I've got to talk to that one, don't I? What can I do for you? Uh. All right. <coughs> Sorry, fucking. Oh, I'm having a sneezing fit. That's the problem. I get this sometimes, and I just keep sneezing and sneezing and sneezing and sneezing. It's a problem. Hmm. <coughs> kind of want a shield, don't I? So I need a shield and I need bandages. And that way he makes bullets, but he doesn't make guns. It's kind of weird, that. <coughs> Damn it! That's fine. I guess this is goodbye. Okay. I'm leaving this place to join the holy mission. Something happened. Mother and I had a talk. I didn't like what I heard. Risa has done some things I can't agree with. I can't talk about it. She wants me to follow in her footsteps and I, I just can't. I already have no desire to be uh, to be chamber lady and what she told me I refuse to consider being part of it. All right, listen. It's unlikely we'll meet again, Fire Monkey, unless, of course, you want to join me having someone. I trust that myself will make a lot of nerve. Uh, I'll think about it. Excellent. <laughs> Glad to be happy to have you with me. The holy mission is about more than just working under a manifested god. Or fighting the scourge. It's also about helping everyone regardless of tribe and family. Have discipline and mastery over yourself. First, protect, look after those who are in need. Second, have discipline and mastery over oneself. And thirdly, always seek to improve yourself. 
so you can better help others improve and help one another it is a good set of values to live by hmm. in fact if you join the holy mission um, and give up your bloodline you'll be free from ever making a payment on your blood price as well it's ideal clean it's an ideal clean slate if you do want to join us meet me in monsoon in the hallowed marsh uh, the road you need to talk to what the road you need to take to reach the marsh is east of the place once in the marsh follow the pilgrim road <sighs> To the trail of the sun pillars towards the ray of light that flies over moon uh, monsoon. Bye. Hello, I see the other guy, haven't I? But I would like to go see these dudes here. Uh, what could I do for you? I want to train with you. Uh, yes, I can teach you a little tri trick. The way to use a one-handed axe to cripple slow enemies. <laughs> Fuck off. An axe? I don't use axes, bitch. Amber, my friend. Uh, oh, can you teach me how to fight? What do you want me to teach you? Uh, best way to take event. Avoid taking hits from enemies. When the enemy bears down on you, a swift dodge will get you out of harm's way. If a foe is quick, you may want to drop your backpack. Most backpacks slow you down on your roll. Blocking will prevent the enemy's physical strikes from harming you, but every hit you block will drain your stamina. To block with flowers, you must use a shield against magical exploits. You need to use a dodge. If you need to get into a better position or to flee, just sprint. Uh, take care not to run too long or it will exhaust you in the fort before you can fight. <gasps> uh, how do I sneak? That's a good one. First, you'll have better chance of avoiding attention if you're in the dark. Then put on your lit lanterns and torches you carry around. Crouch, stay out of your enemies. Enemies' vision. Either sneak past them or carefully approach them to attack. See, I did that on that bandit thing, but I was behind a barrel, but he still saw me. You can use this stealthy approach to set up traps for your enemies, or to get the first strike. The melee weapon or backstab if you learn them up from the dagger skill. Traps themselves can be very powerful if you bait your enemies into them. Okay. What do you do? Ooh! Gorge strike, elemental discharge. Huh. Shield charge. Sounds pretty cute. Restore will increase the impact resistance while you are blocking. Fitness increases your maximum health by 25 and the amount that your health is stored while sleeping by 20%. Ah. Oh. oh, 500. Ugh. 150. Oh, I can only afford one of the basic rigid ones anyway. So let's do this one because that's pretty cool. Thank you very much. Now I need to go find somebody who sells bandages or just something. I mean, how, how can I? I don't know how I can sleep. I don't have. Bed. Oh, actually, I do have. I can get bedroom from here, right? No, that's wood. Ah. I don't want torch. Ah, that's what I want. Improvised bedroll. Is there something you uh, need? Do you have any linen? Oh, look at this. Yes, salt. Improvised bedroll for a tent. Look at that. Ba bandages cost three. Ah, three. How much does linen cost? I mean, I could make my own bandages. One. 
They cost three, they cost one. It takes three to make them, if I'm right. I don't know. Let's just get those. And we'll just grab a few of these as well. We don't have a lot of money, unfortunately. 16. Uh... We don't actually have anything really. Ah, oh. a real backpack. <laughs> oh, I can build myself a, a normal backpack. A hood. Oh. So I could get a uh, flint and steel just for making a fire. Probably already got one though, so. Uh, awesome. Let's use this. One-handed sword required. Okay, I don't have a one-handed sword, unfortunately. Fireworks. Pet. Ah. That makes one bandage. Oh, that sucks. Uh. Can I make myself a savage backpack just for now, or a primal satchel? Ah, oh, I don't have hide. Damn it! Huh. That's fine, unfortunately. We do need to get ourselves a backpack at some point, though. Have a sleep. Let's just gander over here and we'll have a sleep over here somewhere. Fuck all these guys. <coughs> I'm inside the village. I won't get ambushed anytime soon. Hopefully this is going to restore my health. <laughs> hey, all my health. Excellent. Uh, Yazan is on the beach. Let's go talk to him because we need to talk to him <coughs> about our stuff. Hello, Mr. Yazan. You've heard the news? Come to see your old pal off? Yes. I've got one little fishing barge to my name, and by a lot, I've got to use it. Uh, I'm leaving for the heroic kingdom of Levant. Never to darken this stain of a city again. The heroic kingdom believes in chasing progress to create a better world. Okay. Uh, the heroic kingdom doesn't buy into ideals that we should only focus on survival. They believe in pushing progress to create an even better society. Uh, it's a place where you can do what you were meant to do without having to answer to the oppressive tribe laws and deeds of your ancestors. If you succeed and fail on your own merits, no one else's. Uh, good choice. That I will. 
I will chase the Levantine dream and make it my own. I'll take any risk over being trapped here by my brother's idiot idiocy. Uh, let's not talk about his brother. Let's not talk about his brother. We'll go by ocean as far as we can, then lick it across the Abrasar Desert on foot. We'll be rationing water the whole way there. If I could afford it, I, I'd have bought, bought potions to help with the heat. But we'll have to try our luck without them. I'm gonna miss you, man. Likewise, my friend. I would be on the back of sorry, sorry, If you plan to make the journey to Levant completely on foot, be prepared for a long, long journey. You'll have to leave Kurison by going southeast, travel east through the entire Pembroke Forest and finally south through the Arbaris Desert. If you south. have the courage to face the Abrasar Desert, I'll be waiting for you. Cool. The place where he was talking about, can we zoom out or so? Right. Okay, I guess we can't zoom out. Just saying, like, this game is pretty awesome, but I don't know. It's just, it, it seems like it's very much going back to the old school days, which I like, don't get me wrong, but it's still hard. There you are. Urgent news just came in. I must be off immediately. I don't know when I would be able to return. What happened? This is troubling. There's trouble in Berg. An official council meeting has been called. I'm going to Berg, the main settlement in the Enmakar Forest. Home city of all the tribes, birthplace of the Blue Chamber Collective. If you're able, I'd like to, I'd like you to meet me there. I have an offer. I'd I will pay off the rest of your blood price and adopt you into the Aberdeen bloodline. I did not want to spring this on you, but I have an offer. I pledge, if you pledge yourself to work with me, I will pay off the rest of your blood debt, your blood price, and adopt you into the Aberdeen bloodline. Your name will be cleared, and your burden lifted forever. My blood prices will worth a thousand silvers. Where is this coming from? It's complicated. With Onita abandoning the family, I need someone that I can rely on. I think, I think of as close family, and I want to make sure that you never have to face that mob like that again. The Blue Chamber Collective is about coming together as a family. Can we hope to survive in Oral? We all, we are all bound together, no matter, how, no matter our. Our origins or our chosen path. Mm -hmm. The individual pales in importance to the family and the tribe. We all give up little what we want to make sure that everyone has what they need to survive. It's your choice. It's your choice, my Mike. I won't choose you, but my offer is open. Work with me and I'll adopt you into the Abernoon family. <laughs> and go your blood plus permanently. Your life is in your hands. I can't very well drag you along now, can I? You are an adult, your life is in your hands. Why? Um, all I can hope is to do is to try and hold you and shape you into something who will act with the blue chamber's needs in mind. You will need to prepare travel rations. If you want to make the journey um, to another settlement region in a row, you will need to prepare travel rations. If you try to travel between regions without enough rations, you'll starve before you can arrive at your destination. Mm -hmm. Here, I have some travel rations to spare. If you need more, more, go to the store in the city, sell some, 
sell some or craft your own. Okay, craft your own with salt and most types of food. Here's what you need to know. <clears throat> I hope you can. See, I hope to see you in Barrett's Fire Monk if you wish to commit to protect the blue blah blah. blah. Meet me there. Take the road southeast. 